Thank you everyone for joining us at 5.30 today. We're gonna to answer as many comments as we can. Also, we've got a few comments sent to us via our GBTN website. So we're gonna answer those um, first and then we'll get to the live comments. And a few of these comments are pretty interesting and we're gonna um, answer them the best that we can. So uh, thanks again, it's 5.30 in Queensland and we'll probably end this around 6.30 time or maybe even earlier. We don't know yet, depending on how the um, comments come through. Let's get it started and let's start with our first comment starting now. So our first comment is coming from Jay and he's basically asking, is the Sky Weather Active app closing down tomorrow? And yes it is. So I've actually been speaking to a few people on the channel and apparently yes that channel, that um, basically app will be no longer available by tomorrow, we don't know what time. Um, again, I don't have Foxtel, so I can't actually confirm when this is happening. I'm um, just going on based on a few screenshots were sent in to us. And um, yes, it does look like it is shutting down on the 1st of September. So that is um, one big thing that you'll notice, that Sky Weather, Active ch um, Sky Weather Active Channel will no longer be available. So that app location on the IQ2s and the IQ4s. So that, that um, will no longer be available from tomorrow. Also, we've got another comment, so this is Foxtel again related. This is from National Wong, and basically asking, is the brand new Fox Comedy Channel coming tomorrow? So yes, that channel should be available um, around 6 a.m. tomorrow. Also, we'll have that brand new movie channel. Also, I've just connected the iPad, so we'll just wait for that to pop up, and we can tell you actually what is happening tomorrow. So there's quite a big amount of stuff happening tomorrow for Foxtel. It's the 1st of September. So obviously, you're gonna see the new Life, uh, Lifetime movie channel. Also, you're gonna get that new Fox comedy channel as well. And also, the comedy channel will be removed of Foxtel. So that's all happening again. So thanks again, National Wong. And um, now we'll get our next comment up. So our next comment is actually from the same person on National Wong, and basically they are asking, um, is the channel going to be in HD, and what resolution is it going to be at? So, um, it's going to be not HD, so it's not going to be 1080i. We're looking at around uh, 576i, the resolution will be, so it's not going to be a HD channel well, based on what information that I have. Um, it will be an SD channel, won't be any HD channel at all. Again, if it is in HD, there will be a video coming out tomorrow. But as this live stream goes, and as the information that I have, um, that channel is currently going to be in SD quality. Also, thanks Apple XR for joining on in, and Apple. So another comment we got from Melanie V. What is the brand new logo gonna look like for Fox Comedy? So originally we thought it was gonna be basically um, Fox Comedy, and then this is based off the Asia um, Fox Comedy, I've basically got the idea from. Because the Asia Fox Comedy has Fox, and then it has Comedy, and like a little smiley face underneath it. Now I'm gonna try and connect that iPad back up so you can see what I'm, what logo I thought we were gonna get. But also we have the official logo, so that's also pending its way up through the um, live stream as well. So that should pop up uh, very soon. So we'll just wait for that, give it a few seconds. Uh, thanks again, Jacob, for joining on in. Um, thank you guys for all joining in. And um, yeah, and the logo, okay, it says AirPlay is now turned on. So you should be able to see the Fox Comedy um, logo. Okay, there it is. So that's what logo I generally thought we were going to get. But wasn't I wrong? <laughs> that is not the um, logo that we will be getting tomorrow. It's going to be a bit more basic sort of logo. And that one we'll connect up about now. So that logo should pop on through now. So yeah, this is the logo that we are going to get. And as you see, there's a plus two version of it as well, if you guys didn't know. So yeah, um, that's the channel right there. That's the logo that we will see tomorrow. Again, very basic, nothing really cool within the logo. Very basic logo, and it's gonna be on 119. And for the plus two channel, it's gonna be on one, um, 162. So we'll have a comment that we pop through. Let me just see what that name was so I can um, tell you guys. So this is coming from Maddox Gamer, basically asking, I saw your video on the Aussie broadband um, gigabit connection, but cannot get it in Tasmania. Will gigabit internet ever come to Tasmania? So we actually do have a little bit of info on that. Um, we did a bit of research before going live on that particular um, product. So yes, um, gigabit internet is currently available in Tasmania. 
It's not widely available, but it is available by Blue Ocean Gigabit Internet. So that is through MBN. So you can get that, probably mainly available in Hobart, depending on what part of Tasmania that you are in. But yeah, if you'd Google Blue Ocean, um, MBN Internet, you should be able to get a uh, uh, Gigabit Internet plan right there. All right, guys, we've only got a few more comments to answer, and then we'll answer all of our live um, comments that we've got down below. All right, let's get them all started. So an interesting comment that I got as well, which is coming from 2D Fruity, 2D Fruity, and basically asking, why can't I watch Run on Binge? Now, that's a very interesting one because Binge is meant to have all your HBO content. However, apparently it doesn't have Run. Um, I don't actually have Binge, so I can't really tell you if um, Run is available on Binge, but it should be. It, um, yeah, it definitely should be on there. Um, I know it's on Foxtel now, but I don't know about binge but yeah it 100 percent should be on there um if it isn't um probably somehow contact foxtel help and they may be able to help you with that one but um yeah 100 percent um it should be on there but that is something that i have found i believe it's a um it's a facebook group called foxtel complaints and um this facebook group actually does particularly talk about binge is cutting corners because it doesn't have every hbo content it's mainly on foxtel now or foxtel direct you can't actually access it so yeah that is a bit of a bit of a problem so let foxtel know they've done that just in case they don't but it's a good chance they do know but um yeah definitely message them uh, either on the my foxtel app or try and contact them um that's probably the best way that i'd recommend contacting them but yeah that's sad you've signed up to binge and you can't access your run um hbo show so yeah that's bad that foxtel has done that So Paul Kennedy actually has a really good point right here. So that he's basically asking, why did Fetch TV spend $3 million on the software and give us nothing? Sounds like they're just roaring the system. Okay, so um, he's a little pissed because basically if you've seen that new, apparently they spent $3 million. I don't know, but I'm just going by what Paul Kennedy said right there. And he's sick of them just advertising basically HBO content, all that, but they don't actually have it. You've got to rent it or buy it. So it is a very good point. Like if they did spend $3 million and they gave us nothing, they just did another ad and just gave us a little bit better software. That is pretty poor on Fetch TV's behalf. Um, I don't know if that's what they have done. Maybe something is coming soon. Maybe some new channels. Again, I have heard rumors that they are bringing a music channel. Um, don't know much info on that, but yeah, if in just say another couple of months um, that software stays, nothing new, no new content, and they keep flogging off like the TV show or buy TV shows, buy HBO content, but you don't actually own it, um, or you don't get it in your subscription, you have to buy it on the um, Fetch TV store. Yeah, I, I do agree with you on that one, um, but we'll have to see what they do. But yeah, that is a little poor that. Um, if they did spend $3 million on making an ad and doing the software, that's ridiculous. And the fact that they didn't give us any extra channels, nothing at all. Yeah, so yeah, that's very interesting um, for writing that comment. Let's get to our next comment. So we've got a few other Fetch TV comments that have been posted on the GBTN site, which we'll go through as well. Um, and that's basically everything in the Fetch TV. Um, there's a few other comments in Foxtel, and then we're going live to you guys. We do apologize that um, we're entering these comments first because there's actually quite a lot of them. And then when we've read all those, we can get to the live ones. All right, so this particular comment is coming from Infrared. And basically he's asking, or he or she is asking, I don't particularly know, um, is going, why is Aussie Broadband charging me $15 a month when I have no packages on Fetch TV? Why do I have to rent a box? So basically with that regard, like Optus, I think if you're with Optus, um, you don't have to pay it if you're with MBN, but if you add it onto your mobile, yes, there is a $15 fee. So yes, technically you are renting the box while you've got it. So um, you will have to constantly pay that $15 if you're not with MBN or something. Um, I would have thought Aussie Broadband would have um, gave you that for free if you got MBN with them, but maybe they do it a little bit different. Might be different to Optus. But yeah, generally, um, especially with Optus, if you're with mobile, you do have to pay $15 or $10 for, depending on what box. So $15 for the Mighty and normally $10 for the Mini. So yeah, that is normal. And um, yeah, it can be a little annoying. You do have to pay that every single month. Even if you're not subscribed to anything, 
um, on Fetch TV. However, you do get access to the movie box, so that's a dollar subscription that is included with that $15 that you do pay. So keep that in mind as well. But yeah, you do have to pay that $15 per month. The only way you can avoid paying that is if you bought the box outright from Harvey Noah and JB or something. You wouldn't have to pay that um, $15, but yeah. At the moment, you do have to pay, depending on what ISP you go through, 90% of them will require that $15 fee per month. Um, and then if you add the um, ultimate pack, there'll be an extra $20 on top of that as well. So yeah, you normally can't avoid that mighty um, subscription fee unless you buy it outright. But yeah, let us know down below if any of you guys have Fetch TV and if you guys are paying that $15. I believe a lot of people do have it. I may even be paying it. I don't think I am, but it could be possible that I am paying that. I'll have to look thorough through my Optus bill to see if I am paying that $15 for the Mighty Box. So yeah, that's basically one annoying thing that you do have to pay for. Um, yeah, unless you buy it outright, then it's free. And then you just have to pay for whatever pack that you go through. So this comment is coming from Fazy Mod, and this is actually a similar comment to what we just answered on Fetch TV. However, this is with Foxtel. So this particular comment is basically asking, how come I can use Foxtel Go for free, but if I want to cast it, Foxtel wants an extra $15. So for that particular one, you need to have, so I believe you won't have to pay that if you've got another set-top box in the house, so you'd already be paying the multi-room. So you'd be able to cast up to two devices on the multi-room um, via the Foxtel Go app. But yes, there is a casting fee of $15 a month. Um, I believe that's why they are asking you to pay it. They shouldn't auto be billing you that. Um, they'd probably be giving you an error or telling you to go to the website to add that package in But yes, you do have to pay that $15 for the streaming um, Multi-room right there and that's um, yeah, you need that um, to access um, So you either cast it to your TV or if you want to use the actual Foxtel app on your TV You will need that um, casting um, add-on for $15 a month Good day guys, so I don't know if you guys can see me at all, but yeah, that's everything in today's video. Thank you all for tuning in, and um, yeah, um, I don't see any comments down below here, so that'll be everything in today's video. Thanks again for watching, and basically, um, it's actually a stream by the way, <laughs> um, but you can watch this on demand if you didn't get a chance to watch it at 5.30. So yeah, thanks again for watching, and leave your comments again, and we'll do one every week. We generally do these on Monday if you want us to answer any of your comments, got any questions, um, we do it live around 5.30 every Monday. Thanks for watching. And um, yeah, um, we thank everyone that joined us in the stream. And um, yeah, all right, guys. We'll catch you guys next time. And we'll have a few videos coming out tomorrow morning.